Okay, now we're going to start having some more fun with this modal stuff, and I'm going to talk to you about some of the cool ideas you can use to really, really color what you're doing over a modal piece. So, building upon what we did in the first solo, outlining the D minor, playing the other chords in the key, using the blues scale, now we're going to start to play off this modal vamp as if there was what we call an implied 5 chord, which of course in D minor would be an A7. So sometimes you can do lines something like this. And in there was an A7 flat 9, mixed in with the D minor. So sometimes that's a very cool sound to use. It play as if there's an A7 there, even though the bass player is still walking in D, because the dominant chord is so strong, it's going to sound great leading back to D minor lines. The other thing that you can do, which sounds really great, is you can move in different intervals up from the D minor. A common thing that McCoy Tyner is one of the best, you know, proponents of this style would be to move up from D minor to F minor to A flat minor and do lines. as an example of moving up in that kind of a, a fashion, moving up in different intervals, in this case minor thirds. You can move up in half steps. Or you can do another idea which I really like and that's called harmonic sidestepping. Moving a half step above or below the D minor, giving you another sound that you can do. And I'm going to make full use of all these different concepts when I get going in my solo coming up. Okay, so to review folks, some of the cool things that we've been talking about to play over a modal piece. Firstly, you've got to be sure that you can outline your D minor 7 chord up and down the neck or whatever one chord you're on. You have to be sure that you can play it everywhere, just your basic arpeggio, so you have that as a safety net. You can also use the pentatonic scale. There's nothing wrong with that. The minor pentatonic scale will work. And so will the blues scale. It's also a good sound. The other thing that's important to start doing as you're just getting your feet wet with playing over modal tunes is to play up and down the chords in the key. There are D minor, E minor, F major, G7, A minor. B minor 7, flat 5, and then of course C. Any of these chords are working. You can play them as uh, full arpeggios or go up and down, uh, as I just did now, right up, right up and down the scale. Or you can just stay on one for a while. Now I was keeping an open D to show what it would sound like to stay on the E minor. Okay, so we talked about all that stuff. And um, the other thing that's really cool is you can start moving up uh, moving up in minor thirds and playing lines that are moving in that kind of a fashion. You know, or you can mix it up and stay in one area of the neck. Okay, and that was D minor, F minor, D minor, A flat minor, but I stayed in one area instead of just moving them up and down. And finally, we can start we can start doing what's called um, harmonic sidestepping, playing a half step away from the chord that's our home chord, D minor to E flat minor to C sharp minor.
Thank you.